Hello and welcome to three of my favourites and this week I'm looking at Chrissy Canvas Art. Now Chrissy is from the same part of the world as me, the north of England, where we don't talk like English people in big budget films. We say words like grass and path and garage and we drink copious quantities of tea. In fact, now I mention it, Right, where was I? Oh yeah. Chrissy paints in a very loose, almost impressionistic style and has got a fantastic sense of colour. She takes the time to add commentaries to all the videos, which are invariably funny. And if you've heard the recent story about the sneezing incident in the doctor's waiting room, then you'll know what I mean. I also like the moments where she adds something into her paintings, which then later on she doesn't really like and she moans about it for ages and ages, which is really funny. The appearances of the cat and the boat in particular spring to mind. But now let's make a start by looking at my three favourite videos from Chrissy Canvas Art. This one's called Wagon and Geese Watercolour Disaster. It's called that because she started off by doing it as a watercolour and then ended up not liking it and changed it to a, an acrylic painting. But as you can see from the final result, the process that she went to to get there doesn't matter. The end the end painting isn't a disaster by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, you can really see that use of colour that I was talking about earlier. Look at all the warm tones in those background trees and then compare that with the cool tones in the wagon and the geese. You can also see that she spent time increasing contrast in certain areas to make sure that the subjects stand out. The final piece of art is something that just looks like it's sprung out of the pages of a children's book. And it just goes to show that it's not how you get there, it's the final piece that matters. Now let's move on to the next one which is called Oil Lamp Bottle with Flower Inside. And this one again really shows off Chris's use of colour. Look at the muted tones in the background and then look at how she's saturated the colours in the foreground and especially in the bottle. Something else that you might not notice is the colour of the shadow to the right of the bottle but it really lifts that area of the painting. I just love the richness of the colours in this one. Moving on to the final painting, this is my version of an apocalypse raven. I do enjoy the apocalyptic theme and this painting certainly has it. The thing that I really like about this painting is the way that the raven seems to be glowing from within as if the fire is actually inside the raven. It's got such a bleak atmosphere this one which is something that I enjoy. It's got a nice feeling of distance as well with those other ravens in the background that have got some dry brushing over the top to push them further back. And I also love the highlights along the top of its back. This is very different from all of the other work that Chrissy does, but it just shows how versatile she is that she can manage to pull this off. So there you have it, that's three of my favourites from Chrissy Canvas Art. If you don't already then please consider popping along to her channel and subscribing and commenting and liking on the videos, I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. And I'll let the end screen for Chrissy's videos be the final word in this one. <laughs>